Hi and welcome to program 35 using EL collections and you may have previously looked at program 35 which uses the global dictionary and the purpose of that program was to transfer level information from one chart to another. What I've done is rewritten the program using ADE and EL collections and ADE EL collections was originally written by a user some time ago and submitted to the TradeStation forum. It's a great program but uh, since it was written a while ago, it was written before the new multi-core capabilities came into play. Now TradeStation have rewritten the program so that it will work with the multi-core operation enabled, or rather with multi-cores enabled. So just so you see what I mean, if you were to click on View and Chart Analysis Preferences, if you're using 9.1, then you should see this here, CPU Settings. So I've actually got this set to enable use of multiple cores, whereas the previous version, that had to be disabled for the program to work. But in this case, that can now be set so that the multiple CPU cores are enabled. As far as the functioning of the program, it's identical to the previous program. In other words, if we take a level on the sending chart and we move it then you'll see that that level moves on the receiving chart and let me just go and uh, show you on the sending chart the inputs and these are mostly to do with the color of the line so in this particular case yellow is not a super good color here so I'm going to turn change that to light gray and you can set them to whatever you like. You can determine the number of lines and got the set to five, that can be as many as 20. And then critically, this piece of text, this, bit, this string here must be the same on both the sending and receiving chart. So that should be a unique name. So you'll notice now that we've got an error and that is because with this program we've got to be very strict about the order in which it's applied so don't worry about that I'm just going to say close what I'm going to do now is on the receiving chart I'm going to turn the program off so I'm going to change status to off then I'm going to go back to the sending chart I'm going to go format analysis te techniques I'm going to turn the status back to on and then go back to the receiving chart, format, analysis techniques, and turn the status back to on. And then we'll see those lines being drawn. So again, if I were to move, for example, this red line, let's move the red line between the gray lines, like so, and move the magenta line, and uh, you'll see that they move also on the receiving chart. So at the left here, I've got a Google Renko chart and on the right I've got a Google three line break chart. Now the number of decimal places that you're seeing here in the text is determined automatically by the sending program and by the receiving program. So in order for this program to work you will need to install ADE EL collections and I have included a link for those programs that you can get within the TradeStation forum and also, just be aware of the order of which the two things are applied. So make sure the sending program is applied before the receiving program. And if you see any errors like the error that, that we just got a few seconds ago, just go back, turn the programs off on both charts, and then turn it back on on the sender, and then back on the receiver. The program might also be of use to you if you're interested in learning a little bit more about EL collections, and I've added some commentary in the program which describes uh, how the program is put together and what the various parts of the program do. So, thank you.